but uh, he's depicted in that and as the man that brought all of the seeds from the previous world into this world. <laughs> In the southwest, there are a lot of places where there are rock art or the uh, petroglyphs and, and uh, petrographs. But uh, many different uh, people put those on the rocks and it is many places where there are sacred things to be harvested, dirt and, and clay and uh, certain types of uh, rock and so on that needed to be used for various uh, purposes. But uh, the rock art, there's one particular uh, character. Now, when we look at some of these rock art, there's one particular char character that keeps uh, uh, being revealed. And in, it's in part of our ceremony today. Now, in some of the uh, interpretation of the name that he is given, which uh, is in our language, you ask it, or which is the carrier of the seeds. And uh, it is that uh, sometimes they even call him Camel Man. But uh, because of the pack on his back, and uh, the name that most people refer to him by is the name Cocopelli. But uh, that is not something that we uh, recognize, and it is uh, still a dancer and still a character in our present day ceremony. We have ceremonies that we have, uh, that we call Tzitzkitje, uh, uh, which is the mountain way. It's part of the uh, enemy way ceremony. But uh, he's depicted in that and as the man that brought all of the seeds from the previous world into this world. And so he carries those uh, seeds, which are many different plants and vegetation, in that backpack of his. And it's a big pack. Not only does he bring the uh, seeds of uh, vegetation, he also brings the seeds of insect and birds and animals all these different life forms he brings his seedlings into in his back uh, pack and he brings it into this world and he's also the one that is uh, given the responsibility to plant all the vegetation insect birds and animals and so as he puts the seeds into the ground he blows uh, sacred smoke from a medicine pipe onto the seeds and then he steps on it and packs it down as he th sings certain words to certain songs and says certain prayers as well. But uh, he's also the one that uh, brought the various uh, insects and so he does the same things there as he finds them homes and b helps them build their shelter just like he does with the, with the birds and finally with the animals. And he teaches them how to uh, live in those places. And so it is that uh, Cocopelli is a character that still dances in our ceremonies as the Ne. And he is also a person that is actually regarded as an actual human being. But I think that many times that people make up a lot of uh, misinformation. Sometimes they even call him the fertility god. He's not a god. He is just a, a person, just like... Uh, now, she is Saint, which is the uh, spider woman. She is also depicted on many of the, uh, the petroglyphs and, the, uh, and that, the rock art, in many different places. The uh, one that taught the Navajo women how to weave and how to make rugs and how to make clothing and how to use different material as the, uh, the fiber of plants and the fur of animals, different animals, and how to blend those and how to make clothing and cloth. And so she's also depicted on ma many of these uh, places where there are panels of uh, rock art or these petroglyphs and uh, so on. And so if you uh, look at some of the pictures and you know what the songs are and the prayers and the ceremony, 
you can pretty well determine that these are something that have their origin with the Dine or our people. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah, 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 yeah.